Well, folks, speaking of a military uh, situation, uh, we are in a very strong position today, or better position than two years ago. We have confidence that we can take the whole responsibilities very soon, next year, for example. And the enemy knows that they cannot win military no more. Finish. So I think the only way to solve the problem in Vietnam is by political way. And for that, we are ready to compromise with them, to discuss with them. You say that you'd be prepared for a compromise. Does this mean that you'd be ready to serve in a South Vietnamese government that might have communists in it? When I said compromise and a concession, I mean we already offer for them a free election, which they can participate. That's maximum we can offer. Let us suppose that a free election was held and the communists were victorious. Would you accept that? Yes, sir. Once you accept the game and then play it as a gentleman. You say that President Tu has asked you to go back to Saigon on Thursday. Could this be connected in any way with the announcement we're expecting from President Nixon? Yes, I think that's the main reason he he needs my presence in Saigon. Do you have any inkling at all of what that announcement may contain? Yes, but uh, too soon for me to tell you right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, can I ask you this? Are you pleased about it or otherwise? Yes. I, just, I think I contribute to uh, this, you know, I can say it's my own idea, so I'm very pleased to see it happen, develop the way I, I want it. Do you think it's going to help bring peace to Vietnam? Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs>